Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, if you ever had a requirement to scroll in between your Lightning Web Component or to scroll to a specific position in your Lightning Web Component, then this video is for you guys. So guys, in today's video, I'll be creating a functionality using which you may scroll to your Lightning Web Component or to a specific position in your Lightning Web Component. And that is going to be without using a single line of code in JavaScript. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So guys, the first question is like, when do you need this functionality? Okay, so this could be very interesting. So it could be very rare scenarios, I would say, but still like this is something that is possible in LWC or in any HTML component. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Okay, so let's suppose if you are having, having a lightning web component, you know, uh, where you're having a lot of data. Okay, let's suppose it's a very long component or maybe let's suppose if, if this component is containing a document or maybe some text which is having multiple pages in it or it is a very long component okay so in that case uh, user user is having option to you know scroll uh, throughout that component to go to that specific place or maybe what you can do is you can give user an option to scroll to that specific position using a click Okay, so in that case, guys, what will happen when user will click on a specific thing, a specific text or anywhere. So you can just redirect the user or you can uh, change the position of the page to that specific section or to that specific component. So in today's example, also we'll be building it something kind of similar kind of functionality. So I mean, as of now, I'm not having any that kind of long component. So what I'll be doing, I'll create a lightning web component and I will include three different different component in it just to you know make that component a long component and also guys I will be including lightning navigation tabs in it just to give you an example like how the functionality is going to be when you will click on the specific link or text okay and using those lightning navigation tabs I will be scrolling my component based on uh, based on the selected navigation I will be scrolling my component to a specific location okay so that is going to be uh, in today's video if you would like to check the final output first so i'm always sharing the complete code and output on my blog itself which is salesforcebold.com so if you need the complete output i mean and don't want to watch the complete video then you can directly just go to my blog which is salesforcebold.com and at the end of the page you will be able to see the output and this video as well okay so for today's video, first we need a LWC. So I have created a lightning web component here. The component name is navigation hack, NAV hack, okay. And this is my component, okay. So guys, first I'll be uh, creating navigation, the left navigation, okay. After that, I'll be putting three components on the right side and then we'll be doing that uh, scroll navigation kind of thing. So for navigations, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to copy the navigations from lightning design system okay so if you will search for navigation this is vertical navigation yeah that would be fine okay so i'm just copying the complete code from here to my lightning map component okay and also I'll be dividing the section into two parts because we have to display component also on the right side. In your case, maybe you can have top navigation or maybe you can have link inside your component as well. So let's suppose in your component, if there's a link like uh, terms and condition, then on click of that link, you can send user, you can, re you can uh, change the user's po scroll position to end of this end of your page where you will be having a checkbox to accept terms and condition. I mean, there, there could be multiple requirements, like in multiple pages, you can redirect user to a specific page. And maybe if you need, you can also use some JavaScript animation also while uh, doing this stuff. Okay. So guys, to do that, I'll be using, uh, maybe we can use lightning layout to add a divider there. Okay. So let's remove this width first. Okay. Then I will add first. Uh, lightning layout 
multiple rows okay and now we will add lightning layout item lightning layout item let me give padding maybe small and so there will be two sections in one section i'll be having the navigation and in the other one we'll be having that uh, component so i'll be dividing it in four by eight the section okay now let me modify the size to eight for the second one okay all right let's cut it from here and paste it here okay so this is my section guys now let me show you the output quickly so right now we are just having the navigations okay we have not added anything else so if i will refresh the page so this is the navigation okay now let's add some classes back uh, default theme and background also so what we can do is we can have another div here and we can add slds box and default theme also i think that should be enough so let's cut it from here paste it here save it and deploy it okay it is deployed now let's see the output and yeah, now it is looking better now on the right side we'll be having components okay so yeah so guys uh, i'll be picking up few random components okay as you can see like i'm having list of examples on my youtube channel so that is the reason why i'm having list of components with me okay so what we can do is first let me just take the grandparent component okay and guys these components will be in its own separate div containers so this is the first component and uh, second let's choose the template one okay and at the end we'll be selecting uh, maybe the api one um, get random yeah this this would be fine okay save deploy okay it is deployed now see the output So these are my components, guys. So consider it as a single component, uh, which is having a great height, I would say. So let's suppose if this is a single component, okay. So to navigate or to scroll in this component, user have to use the scrolling. I mean, that is the only option here. Now guys, what we'll do, using these navigations or using, uh, or I mean, you can use any other click also. We will change the scroll of that page and we will scroll the user based on his uh, based on his selection selected uh, navigation okay so let me change the navigation also so let's say um, navigation example and let's name it what was the first component it was parent to child okay second one was related to template and third was fetch apis okay now guys on the click of this anchor tag we have to redirect user to that specific section so for that what you can do is you just have to give a id here to this container tag so let's suppose uh, I can do like C1, container1, ID C2, container2, and this will be container3. Okay. Now to redirect to this specific section, what you can do is like in this 
href tag you can simply type that container name to which you you need to uh, redirect the user okay so that will be um, by hash so we'll do c1 okay parent to child then c2 and c3 here okay let's save it and that should be enough okay let's see the output now all right guys so we have added the anchor tag here so let's suppose if i will click on this template so this is my second component template and if i will click on this fetch api so i am here on this uh, fetch api thing okay so guys uh, i mean using that i mean you can have link anywhere but uh, let's modify this example a little more so if you will notice this navigation bar is also scrollable right now so what we will do we will make it fix okay so to make a navigation bar fix uh, basically there are two options first you can use like uh, scrolling uh, no i think the position as yeah, the uh, the attribute of position so what you can do is you can simply use position as fix so that will also do the tri trick or there's a slds property as well so to use that what you can do is uh so this is the navigation bar okay the demo only i think this should be the one so here in this uh, navigation bar what we can do is we can simply add a class let me remove this demo only as this is not needed so the class is slds is fixed so when you will add this class the position of that specific container will be fixed okay now let me show you the output of this okay now if i will scroll the component so the position of that specific component is fixed right now okay but still like if you are uh, navigating to a specific component then you see the padding and the other stuff is not uh, looking properly and this template fetch api okay so let me give some padding here i mean you can uh, definitely customize it as per a requirement so i'm just modifying the code so the uh, output uh, so the output could be a little better okay so to navigate it what we can do is uh, in the first component let it be as it is for the second one maybe we can add some classes here so let's add padding uh, padding top and I'm making it large okay and i'm adding another div here just to have some more padding because i know like there is going to be there's going to be a long gap between these components so like this okay okay check the output so now if i will click on this template so yes padding is little better but we need more space so to get more space what we can do is we can simply use the new line tag okay now when i will click on this template yes now the padding looks better so let's copy the same uh, on the next section as well so let's just copy it from here to this section okay and another div tag this will look good now okay so this is template and okay, the fetch api is not loaded okay now it is loaded and this is fetch api all right 
so guys that's how you may create navigations and you don't have to use the exact example guys that was just for demo purpose only uh, and I'm not sure like whether you will actually need the functionality because this could be a very rare scenario because in lightning web component usually what we do is like we, we will be having a separate component for each section or maybe for each I mean there could be small sections and for every section we could have a separate LWC and we can navigate to it directly but what if you are creating a page where you want user to see all the reports or maybe all the components together and the user need ability to scroll between them using clicks it could be anything I mean you can't you know I mean you can't guess the requirement what it could be so yep that it is for today guys if you like today's video a uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome I'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching